the heart meal there. Big old five by four, just what we want. First bowl, baby. First bowl. That's our first one together. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it comes. <laughs> Dude. Oh my. The freaking giant. Heck yeah. I'll take that for a last day back. Just get to work. Stop talking. <laughs> Good morning. The, what's the mood this morning? Well, everyone's mad at Eric. Go figure. <laughs> Why is everyone mad at Eric? I don't know. Lots of things. <laughs> Lots of reasons. <laughs> the biggest oh. reason would be the camper stinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Two is he... First and foremost. <laughs> that is the camper. The stink. I would say the camper. Coming out of his butt is unparalleled. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry. Sorry guys. You have got to stop until we get outside. Dude, that, literally, that literally made me dry heat. <laughs> my eyes are watering. I, I can't help it. Literally my stomach's sick. We'll come outside. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. I'll think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> You are something else. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where we want to go to glass this morning. And we got to the main road that runs the top. Just gotta find a good glassing point where we can get up high and see a bunch of country before it gets light. We're about 10 minutes from first light. 15 something like that opening day opening day let's get let's get to this top road and then uh, we'll hike out to some of this rim rock do some glassing Just walking down the trail, about stepped on this thing. It's opening morning here. We just got to the top of this ridge and uh, we're just gonna glass and glass and glass until we can't glass anymore. Try to see if we can find a mature buck over here. It's a lot of country, not very many deer. But uh, we're just gonna keep going. Yesterday, last night when we were scouting, we saw 16 deer at least eight bucks so there's obviously just not the number of deer in this spot where we're at today this morning but we're gonna do some long range glassing over here and if we're not seeing anything we're gonna bump over a couple little ridges and just keep hitting it just gotta catch these deer moving up through these canyons it's discouraging you always expect opening morning to start seeing deer, or at least see deer right away, but nothing yet. Ty ended up glassing some does clear over there, probably a mile and two miles away. More like three miles. Yeah, more like three miles, a long ways away. But we're gonna back up and try to get over another ridge and try to see some different birds. Hey boys, what do you think? Getting hot. It didn't take long for that sun to come up and... No, it heated up like immediately. Nine, ten. It's not bad though, it's easy to deal with the heat when we're hunting all these bucks. <laughs> sacrifice anything. I got my this, second wind just now. For this kind of you know, oh. sacrifice, just about anything. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, once in a lifetime draw like this. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Consider this once in a lifetime for sure. I hope it's once in a lifetime. <laughs> it might be once in a lifetime for me. It might be a Saturday. 
<laughs> it might be one freaking Saturday. <laughs> I had scouted a buck in this area, so we got on this little knob, just started glassing, and we finally started turning up some deer. They're not very far away, but they are just so hard to see. They're bedding up against this rim rock, and they are tough, tough to see. So this is the little buck that was with that bigger buck that I had scouted. He's still not a big buck. Me and Eric are like, he's made like 130, 140 buck. So nothing that we're super interested in, but if he's in a cool spot, I don't know, we might, one of us might get a wild hair and put a stock on it. But we gotta move a little bit, get a different angle. Saw those two bucks spook, or two doe spook off. The little guy still isn't concerned, but we didn't really see anything else. We're gonna go back to the rig and see if we can get into more of these fingers to see more of the country and see what else we've been missing. 10-4. Okay, we got gas, and it's a windy son of a gun. We're trying to complete a new area, and an area that We've actually seen bucks in, so hopefully we can find something big enough to shoot. So here we go. That was a very uneventful evening. Freaking discouraging. We it's. 8.40, last light, and uh, we saw no deer this evening, we saw two does, and that's it, so zero bucks, we don't know what's going on, last night we saw about eight bucks in here, so we don't know what happened, uh, don't know if it's the moon, don't know if we're just not looking in the right spot at the right time, so keep after it. We'll turn them up eventually. Just makes for long days when you cover as much country as we did and we glass as much as we did. I don't see a decent buck, so pretty crazy. Uh, high hopes for tomorrow. We're gonna boogie out of here. Hopefully get a good night's rest and we got plans to glass tomorrow in the morning. If we don't turn up anything decent, then maybe change locations and find a new spot and start from scratch, because this spot is not turning out. <laughs> Glorious opener. Best opener I've ever had. One buck, and it was a two point. Hmm. So, what'd you learn today? Um, these deer are tough to find. Like, I mean, they could definitely be under our noses and us not see them. We spotted those that two point in the doe, mm -hmm. and there ended up being what two other deer in there that we couldn't pick up before that. So. Who knows what else we, we've we glassed over. Man, I've learned that these deer aren't like normal mule deer. Like normally this time of year you can pattern them, right? You can almost count on where they're gonna be. Mm -hmm. These ones, I feel like there's no rhyme or reason. Yeah, I, and I don't know if they're, if they're getting like pressured a lot by people, coyotes, but it just makes them like change up their routine every day. They never do the same thing every day, two days in a row. So. There's a lot of coyotes the day before yesterday, 10 coyotes. So, I don't, maybe, maybe they get run all the time. I don't know. But that's a lot of country we had eyes on for very few deer. <laughs> very few bucks. Uh, Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Go to King. Hey, what's up? So, we're here parking. We gotta hike all the way out to this little basin right here and uh, 
Let's see if we can find these bucks that I scouted in there. Uh, we'll just have to work our way all the way around that bowl and get all those angles underneath those rocks and try and glass them up this morning. We got about half hour till first light, so start hiking and we should get there right after the the starts lightening up a little bit. The hunt just got more challenging now. Passed on some younger bucks, and now Ty's lamed up, and we still don't have any mature bucks now. So, back to the drawing board once again. Of degrees <laughs> and uh, we're gonna hike to the top of that rim and see if we can see something now and it's gonna be a ball buster not because it's a long hike or a hard hike it's just gonna be a hot hike oh. see something tonight and we're gonna be like okay we'll be there in the morning 
the walk of shame out of here. The start of this now. Well, when you ask Eric to prepare a meal, this is what you get. <laughs> he brought uh, hot dogs. I brought the bread because I just brought it for sandwiches. And then he brought the sauce. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I brought the ketchup. Two can play this game, you know. Okay. What do you got? I'll show you. Two angles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is my two, dinner. Two angles of your great meal that you prepared. <laughs> you didn't even cook it. <laughs> Thank you, cooking it. <laughs> <laughs> day of our last day, which is day three. It's the morning. Ty spotted some gla uh, glass up some deer running over the far hill, and that's as much as we got of them. I haven't seen anything yet. Wind's blowing. It was pretty calm when we got here, but the wind started picking up. We're gonna look off this backside, but. Other than that, all this stuff looks like really good deer country. Not many deer. So. just bouncing from area to area just trying to find uh, different rims and whatnot to glass up into and uh, found another one and we're gonna have a look inside of it and see if we can uh, get some animals in the shade so we're gonna pack our packs and uh, yeah, grab our bows and head up the mountain maybe take a little nap while we're out here's the thing and there's no reason why animals shouldn't be here. Plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of area, cover, shelter, I mean, you name it. But I just think these predators hammer these things. I don't think there's very high deer densities to begin with. We've seen a pile of coyotes, bobcats, haven't seen any lions, I'm sure they're here. Let's just put it this way. 
we see more coyote crap and, and tracks and we seen deer we haven't we haven't seen a deer track today I don't think so yeah sucks Another spot checked off the list. No deer. <laughs> On to the next. On to the next. Alright, Ty's been making fun of me the whole trip. Because the few deer we have seen, he's spotted them all first. So, I told him when we were walking in here, I said, I'm going to spot the deer I killed, so that's fine. <laughs> he did, but he didn't kill him. But he's over there. He's going to. He's a cool 3 by 4 um, white, really white. Uh, not very heavy, but it's cool. We're gonna see if we can get in on it, discuss a little strategy here. So. Thanks for watching Ty and I chase mule deer with our bows. For this episode, we're giving away a bow accessory package, which includes a Hamsky Peep, a Hamsky Trinity Rest, an HHA Tetra Sight, HHA Tetra Stabilizer. All you gotta do is like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. We'll announce the winner over Instagram and Snapchat, so be sure to follow us there. Good luck, everyone.